Hello, Alex. How are you getting the overdone? Not much to do now, is there? I'm on my way to the garage now. Meet us there. Just for, finish this drink and then uh, I'll set off, alright? Right, so, fuck off. Fancy seeing you, yeah. Yeah, what are you doing here? Well, sometimes I like to pretend I've got a house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hello to the viewers. Oh, what are you doing here? Right there. What about Chins Motorsport? Right. In this episode, world continues on the Nova. And there's a heated phone call with Goodridge that you want to stick in and watch. Yeah, stay tuned for stay that. Stay tuned for that. Right, turn off the clock. Turn off the clock. Oh, God. <laughs> So we just pulled up there, there's just some random dogs jumping all over the car trying to get ace. Because I think they've seen him on YouTube, you know he's a famous dog. On his paw print. Do you like pork scratchings ace? Yes. This is what you call the chintz van, I put it this way, you run them. Run it. See this van? You run it. Why you run it? <laughs> Why you run it? See this, what I'm doing right now? This is what you call running it. This is a textbook example. Run it. Run it. <laughs> These are the brake lines we're putting on. Goodridge. Stainless steel braided. Premium performance. But I bought these five years ago, I had them sitting there to put on this car for the deer when I finally got round to rebuilding it. And if you look here, you see the date, look, they're actually date marked, see that? 2018, that's when I got them. I finally got time to fit them now. Look, oh. look at this, I've got a quick look while I get out of this smell zone. How nice them look. Can you see that? Right. Ah, so this is the second time this has happened to us now. In one of our other videos. Good ridge uh, brake lines. Putting the banjo bolts into the caliper. Now the problem that we're faced with, look inside the back of the caliber. Might be able to get some on well, that. Well, it's there's something there's a bit still hanging out. I'm gonna try and get some more grips on or something, but these bolts are obviously weak. Have we got any spares? I've got two spares in my if set. If not, I'm gonna have to use <sighs> the old ones. I'll have to put the old ones back in, but look, well, this is a one in this. This is a caution to anybody using Goodridge. It's the second time it's happened. Well, I'm have actually contacted them and spoke about this, mm -hmm. and they sent us some more. That those are the ones that they sent but out. There's a weak design. You see what I said? The hole through the middle. Mm -hmm. It's bro it's breaking and it's breaking in our calibers. I didn't even have much uh, torque on that. No. Just well, what they the recommend start. is eleven pounds foot of torque. This is not good. I'm not very impressed by Goodridge, and these are supposed to be one of the best brake lines you can buy. Mm -hmm. Listen, Goodridge. Oh. Not good. Not the dear. You better send us some free stuff to make up for this. Mm -hmm. Oh well, spend another hour getting that out now. I'll be sending you the invoice for me time. Thank you. It's all fake, it's all fake, remember? What am I gonna do? Oh, look, just wanted a reality TV, TV show. Staged. Staged, man. People say the dog shit in the Porsche was fake. It was staged. <laughs> it was real. This is real. real. It's all shit. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's all shit. It's all a waste of time, really. The all just laughs and smiles, this car building, you know. Just, hey, look at me, flying around my little car. Yeah. <laughs> no. 
Like I've said before, blood sweat, it's all torture, it's blood sweat and beers, right? Right, I want to get some more grips on that. This is going to be the uh, technique, more grips. See if I can get it. Well, we've had plenty of times that this has happened to master oh. this. Oh, oh. oh you're not. Oh. No, hold on, I've got it out, look. No. Got it out. No. I have. Really? Mm hmm by yeah. fingers, man. It's not even tight, that. Is it not? Nah, look. What's look going that. on? So that's, look, that's, that shows you how tight that actually was. Not even tight enough, it was hand tight, and it snapped off. Good Ridge will want some free stuff from you. These are a big company worth a lot of money. Your product isn't very good. That could, if we were a professional race team on the side of a race track somewhere, I'm having problems like this. Not very good. This is a, you've set an example there to two people who are making YouTube videos, and a lot of people are going to see this now. I'm not sure if you've changed the design of your banjo balls to something of lesser quality, but this is unacceptable. Well, normally, the head of the ball is stamped Goodridge. Aye, oh, because we had some before, didn't we? Yep. Where's the old one gone? I don't know, you took it away, didn't you? I think, oh, I'll, be, I think I'll just refit the standard ones back no in. No stamp on Goodridge. They've changed the design. Shit. What I'm going to do is put the standard Vauxhall ones back in, because obviously these have lasted 30 years. Except for life on them, banjo bolts. Mm. <laughs> They, they feel a lot more uh, steel. Uh, they're, they're like made out of plastic or something. Keep changing. Shit. So you're watching Sports More videos, real life reviews on what the good stuff is and what the shit stuff is. I know. People go on, oh, I've got Goodridge lines, got this, got that, right? They're not actually that good. The line's probably good quality, but the, that bolt. Mm hmm. Shit, I'm gonna help you with that, like. Oh man, I'm sick of this happening now. I'm gonna ring Goodridge now. I'm gonna get on the phone to them and tell them what the crap is with this. Just ring these up. Report this. To ring them. Hello, you through to John at Goodridge right. Premium Performance. Right, uh, tell me your help. Uh, it's Alex from uh, Chins Motorsport. Uh, it's been brought to my attention by one of the senior technicians that we've got a serious quality fault with one Ooh. of your banjo bolts. Right, I see. Mm -hmm. uh, that you've supplied us Sorry. with. Um, mm -hmm. In the past, we have noticed mm -hmm. that there's been stamps right. on the bolts that you supply on these mm -hmm. new sets. Mm -hmm. We're not getting that. Um, right. And what we've noticed is, upon talking them down, serious quality failure. Um, Basically, just snaps the bolt inside the caliper. Now, luckily, we've managed to get the the rest of the bolt outside the caliper. Um, but you know, these things keep happening, and uh, it, in terms of what we are, our patience is running out. I'm afraid. So, how would you like to proceed? All we can do is we can offer you a full refund. Dog. Right, I'm going to stop you there. You've caught us on a bad day. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring someone else in to talk to you. Okay. Right. Bear with us. Hey Lewis, come and sort these out on the phone. Hello, what's your problem? You gotta sort these bolts out? Yes, we can sort the bolts out, there's no problem. Listen, either sort these fucking bolts out, I'm gonna come down there and sort you out. I'll crack you like a fart. No, no, I think there's been a misunderstanding, there's no problem. Listen, I think you're so hard. Alex, I've sorted it. Don't worry about it, I've sorted it. Right, so we're ready to start blading the brakes on the car now. This is what we use for the old easy blade. Right? Perfect brake bleeding in moments. So I'll quickly explain how it works just for people who are not sure. You can actually get them as well, but they're not that good. Put them on your brake line. It's got like a little hole in the end when you pump the pedal, take like a non-return. So it gets the fluid out, but when you come off the pedal, it doesn't draw any air back in. But I don't think they work that good. This pressure bleeding system is the best way to do it. Um, so you fill this up with fluid, you put this, it comes with a lot of different caps, this is the one that fits on this, we'll put that on there, on the reservoir, oh, there's my belly rumbling, I'm starving, fill that on there, Back it on. 
right. Make sure you've got plenty of fluid in it, which we have. Don't let that run too low. Put that to one side. And then you pressurise it with a car wheel, but you're not supposed to have any more than 20 psi. So I'll just make a quick check on that now. Check the tyre pressures. We had it when it uh, over pressurised, over ten, 20 psi. 10.5 psi in there, so. Blew the seal on the master's uh, oh, servo no cylinder. Did it have a. Learn from my own mistakes, right? right. Make sure you didn't have more than 20 psi in because we've damaged the van that they're doing that. Mm -hmm. Right then, so I'm going to pressurise the air brake system and we're going to see if there's any leaks. Right. That's it. Let's see a quick check of all the um, calipers and drums and we'll check if anything's leaking, right? Floor. I'm mm. sure if that's. It smells like it. It's all tight, like. I'm gonna do. Is that on the, on the bottom of that fitting? Is that fluid? Start from the the wheel that's furthest away from the master cylinder. So on an over the master cylinder is on the front left hand side of the car. So we start from the rear right hand side, that one over there. And then you move your way around. So the second furthest away would be that one. And then it'll be that one and then this one. So we'll start on the rear passenger side wheel next. And we're gonna bleed it into a glass container because we've got a, we've got loads of brand new brake fluid. And if we can keep it clean while we're, while we're bleeding it, we can reuse it and see if we have to keep buying more. But obviously it's going to be a curry jar because it's all about farts and shit, so I change motorsport. Even into there. Right, At least it's clean fluid. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, crispy. <laughs> Hold the bottle up then so we, can have a, so we can get a bit of a visual on it. And we're flowing. Not bad, is it? Bleeding easy, these. What I'll do, I'll keep an eye on the, the level in here. Make sure it doesn't drop too low. And we're getting there, like. I would, uh, is there any air coming out? No. Tighten it up quick, because I might not fill this bottle up before it gets too low. Oh, we're hitting the limit there, like it's going to suck the air back in. Have you tightened it? Yeah. Right. See, this is the best way to do it. Normally people just bleed them all out on the floor, you lose all your fluid. It's a nice cost effective way. We're not but you're saving it. money. Saving time. Not wasting anything. Easy bleed system. All right, not paying us anything, you know. Easy bleed. If you're watching this, send us something for free, will you? I know. It's See about you. time someone did something for Sick us. Advertising everything for people and getting them out. This but week on brandless motorsport. Right, and for people who are watching this and all, we're not actually getting anything for free. So this is all like we're doing this for free. People who think people just give us stuff for now. Many people who ever seem to give us things. Is, uh, is the cars and they abuse us. Find people who, who've ever gave us stuff for free. Uh, my neighbour who's got Sierras, Mark, he's given us some tail lights for the Sierra. Uh, thanks for them. Uh, Christian Moore gave us them little model cars, that was nice of them. But we didn't really get much for free anyway, so anybody wants to send us anything other than farts and shit, we'll accept it. I know, where the mailbox is full of farts at the minute <laughs> and glass jars. Yeah, I got a I got a bumper for the Sierra of Adam Smith and uh, some tail lights and things off him. So I right, all appreciate anyone who wants to help out. We're I don't just, get anything. We're just, just spending all the whole money and he doesn't get nothing. Just forget about it. Just forget about it. 
together. He doesn't even exist. Oh, just stands behind the camera all day. Just a mindless soul behind the camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> just sits there. I need a nickname for him anyway. Anyone in the comments think of a nickname for him? Pooh Man or something. He'll come up with something. Keep that entertaining. Right. Oh, there we go. Bleeding lovely, that isn't even in the air. It's one of the easiest brake bleeding sessions we've ever had to do. You know they're all like this, a chin smoker spot. Stress free, easy. Yeah, easy. Easy bleed. In the trade. Watch it, you're spilling it. Wait, that's it, I'll tighten that up, I think that's done. I just need to depressurise the system now then, we're done. Cut this off, careful not to spill any brake fluid on your paint. Because it's, it's like corrosive and it strips paint off, right? But if you hate someone, take a bottle and pour it on their car. <laughs> <laughs> What we need to do now is then pump the pedal right, we need to check the check for leaks. It's perfect that. Check for leaks, make sure everything's alright. It is, jobs are good, nice and easy that. Right, we'll check the feel of the pedal now and we'll look for any leaks as well. Oh, oh it's a nice feel that. That's the best these brakes have ever felt. Get your pump on there. Uh... I love my pump on, man. <laughs> you should know that by now. <laughs> pump it up and I'll check the set to see if anything leaks. I don't spot anything. Feels alright. Can't see anything leaking. Oh, what's that noise? You hear that? I heard something, but I couldn't see anything. Everything, everything looks alright at the back. Pump the, pump the front. Oh, pissing out! Got a leak. I thought I heard something like. I didn't know. Right, I've right. got a leak. When you held it. Oh, I've got a leak on this one here. Yeah? That joint there mustn't be tight. Right, well, we'll just quickly tighten that up then, then we'll have to bleed that one again. That's a good spot. Ah, oh, it's not even tight, that man. Neither wonder. I must have just. Uh, yeah, that's only breaks, you know, just forget about it. So, this, uh, we've got a failure. Yeah. On this fit now, whenever pressure's applied into the system, there's a heavy leak. Somehow, somehow this fitting is being compromised. We're gonna have to take it out, cut the brake hose, reflower it, put a new fitting on, and uh, put it back together. Once I get this out. We'll be able to have a look at why it was leaking and how it's feeling. What's Isn't happened to that? Doesn't it? It's not even flat. What's happened there? Is it? Oh, it hasn't snapped inside, has it? Yeah, that's weird. I've never seen that before. How the fuck's that happened? Look at that, I can take the. I'll be able to get the fitting off the end of that. I'm not even fucking flat. When were these? These brakes lines weren't done. No, they were done years ago. These were done years ago. Oh, I'm gonna put that bottle underneath that. Mm -hmm. Get the bottle to catch out. 
Well, I hope it hasn't snapped inside there. We're going to have to check. I don't know. Or unless it's snapped inside the old fitting. That this side had the rubber one on it. Quickly get a thing, you can't save it. It's unfortunate, Krogi. Tell you what, I'll have a red one then, because I've got a red car. You have the blue one. See how fortunate it is, Krogi's unlucky. We'll see. <laughs> what did you do this one? Where's the eight before? Hmm. So what happened is, uh, part of the brake hose that I made five years ago has broke off. I don't know where that bit gone. At the end of it, it broke off somewhere inside of the new line, causing it to not have a seal and leak. So what I've done is, I've cut a little piece off, reflared it, put a new fitting on, and that's the repair complete. I'm about to just finish, I've got to angle this a certain way. Uh, finish putting this back together and then bleed it again. Hopefully, that's it this time. The thing I always encounter these little problems you see when you work on these cars. With a longer action packed episode for the bank all the weekend uh, for you. Some a bit different for you. So, see you soon. Cheers, Cheers. Ta -da. Ta -da. Thanks for playing. Ta -da.